Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is a uh, mid-century modern. It's metal too. A lot of times the newer ones are plastic. I believe they call that. As Alrighty, well, welcome back to the Thrifting Twins. Today I'm by myself, but that's okay. Um, I didn't know the post office was closed today. It's Monday. Um, I think it's because of Juneteenth. But anywho, um, we're at Salvation Army. Let's get in there and see what we can find. All right. Ooh, the case looks empty. The Cabbage Patch doll is still there. I might look that up. All right, let me get my cart. It's right here. All right, let's start over here. Ooh, uh, that looks like it could be Mexican. It's Pier 1, Italy. Hmm, I like the horse on that. $7.99. I don't know for that price. Let's see what else there is before I spend that much. Ooh, look at these, um, I believe these are teacups. A lit a teacup. Otagari, maybe? Let's take a look. Ah, oh, made in China. UH. I kind of like that. It has that nice Asian flower with a gold detail on it. Anything up here? It's a painting on a wood. That's kind of neat. I like the colors on that. Janet Weed. Southern Living at Home. <laughs> Anything down here? I guess we'll just look at everything. Certified International. We have a Dutch lady. A bell. What does that say inside? Genuine porcelain Taiwan. It's missing one of the uh, pails. A nice trivet. Porcelain plate, Gibson. I keep looking at those. <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, Target. Hello. We have all these bells. That one looks like it'd be made in the 70s. Okay. We have this grandma. I don't see too okay. much resale value in that. The white barn candle. Alrighty. It's in Albany. Ooh, planter. I kind of like that. Reminds me of those cookies with the icing on it. <laughs> Ooh, look at her. Look at the colors. Ah, it's a music box and it's broken. Alright, let's go look at the figurines. Thank you. This looks like uh, the Hummel, Hummel Imitations Chalkware. It's a lot of damage on that. Alright, let's see what else we have down here. Some egg cups. We have an angel playing harp. In. We have this Disney. Oh, it's a bank for three ninety nine. It's a type of rubber. I don't know what you would call that. Oh, look at this cute trinket box. It's a chicken on top. Huh, I love it. It's broken. Three ninety nine. I'll leave that. 
All right, let's go down this aisle. Look at this green um, spongeware teapot. Oh, the cellar. It was originally um, $36, log cabin. How much are you? $3.99. It's half off. Let's put that in. I'll expand my shopping. I like that. I wish I had uh, teacups with it. Maybe they'll have them. Um, these look like false graph. False graph? Oh, Thompson pottery, that's right. I always see the mugs. We have a alligator bell. Oh, Florida. Let's put it like that. These are the stackable mugs. Made in China. Some olive dishes. Gift craft. I thought maybe that was made in Italy. Ah. Is that Port Marion? The ladybug on there. Oh, Harry and David. <laughs> Look at this decanter. It's an Asian decanter. Four ninety nine. It's interesting. It's etched in there. Yeah. Bailey's. Look at this blue mug. All right, no more mugs. <laughs> uh, we have the blue willow Churchill. Man, if I had the top, I would get that. Maybe I'll find it. Anything down here? I may have looked at this before, the cellar. $19.99. Look at these um, candle holders. They look like jello with a fruit in it. <laughs> That's what it always reminds me of. Now I want some jello. All right, let's scan the shelves. Nice vase here. Uh, it's definitely transferred on. It's like um, a Japanese tree, cherry blossom maybe. Look at the birds. canisters. Definitely ni the, from the 90s. Hmm. Those are all right. I don't know if I want to ship those. Eek. This looks like it's mid-century. I forget who made them. Made them. Nice ginger jar. Ooh, look at the glaze inside. Ah, Chris, handmade at Hometown Ceramics. Oh, it has the Asian people on there. Oh, I like that. Let's check out this and see what that is. It's a ceramic. What is that used for? Oh, it's just a trivet. T N. I have no idea what that says. <laughs> That's kind of neat. It's definitely hand painted, handmade. I wonder if you put um your tea on there teapot maybe a small Japanese teapot what about this pan here oh it's a silicone smartware oh, these plates with a uh, fruit on it's pier one Macintosh they're only a dollar each let's put those on it will it'll eventually sell can't beat that for a dollar. Let's 
take a look at this. Oh, it's plastic. I wasn't expecting that. It's pretty. It kind of looks like it has a... Almost like an Art Deco look. But it's Asian. $7.99 though. I'll leave that. There's no signatures or anything. This looks like Hall. Ooh, it is. Um, it has a crack. But it has a lid and everything. And the lid is broken. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go down here. Some candle holders. I don't think they're crystal. Three ninety nine each. I'll, I'll leave that. That'll be eight dollars. Let's go. I like these. These are crystal. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is a uh, mid-century modern. It's metal too. A lot of times the newer ones are plastic. I believe they call that a sea urchin. Not positive, but three ninety nine. I'll get that. It looks like it's a little bent though. Yeah, that goes in. I've sold stuff like that before, for good money. What do we have over here? Some mugs. It looks like it could be um, Italian. I can't believe the post office was closed. <laughs> we have like 15 packages that need to go out. <laughs> oh, oh boy. What does that say? I don't know. It's a nice pottery bowl, Sango. I think we looked at that before in the it. Is that German? Oh man, that's half off too. All right, W I K P. It's definitely handmade. Oh, well, that goes in. I feel like I get more than a dollar on that. Well, I'm glad I forgot this last time because now this is half off, so it's only two dollars. So that definitely goes in the cart now. So if anybody wants it, I'm gonna list it for about $18. It goes right there. What do we have in the wood? Not too much, it's kind of bare. What this jewelry box? Oh, that's half off too now. Um, I don't know. Supposed to have a key. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna come back to that. Maybe we have friends. That's definitely newer. All right. Let's go. Ooh, look over here. We have the Fontanini a stable. I believe it's just a stable. The are the people supposed to be in there? We gotta check. Make sure everything is in there. Okay, so it's just the stable. Um, but I feel like the stable alone could sell well because uh, people sell well. I just sold a, I believe a set of 13 for about $72. I feel like the stable is hard to find. So for $10, I'll get that. What else do we have? A lot of dolls. I don't know too much about dolls, so. Ooh, what is that? Some metal work. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Made in China. It's still pretty though. Let's go over here. I know the clear glass is probably boring for some of you. Uh, it's uh, Dansk. 
All right, if I find anything, I'll let you know. All right, so I found these cool glasses, tumblers and water glass. This is, I don't know if you could see that, Mikasa. It's crystals. I'm not gonna get these because they're really cloudy and scratched. But I'm gonna get these. They're only a dollar each. Huh. All right, let's go check out the linen. That's a nice shirt. I like the hearts. Whoops. Hey, look at these uh, tablecloths. Or curtains, I mean. <laughs> well, those are kind of neat. Um, it's just a valance. Yeah, I don't see the actual curtain. Anything over here? Some uh, afghans. Some nice colors on that. Baby blanket. Oh, so many... Somebody ripped it. All right, so our total spend was only $20, which I'm surprised. I usually am surprised when it's $20 and below. <laughs> but I think my favorite find is this mid-century modern atomic um, metal artwork. I'm excited about that. I feel like I could get about $45 to $50 for this. And we only spent $3.99. And then we got the Pier 1 Macintosh dinner plates for one dollar each i feel like we could get about ten dollars each plate it has a nice pretty fruit uh pattern and whenever i see pair one i always look it up because some of it is worth a lot of money <laughs> all right and then the fontanini stable um i could probably get about 35 dollars for this especially if somebody's looking for a replacement if it's broken <laughs> but i spent ten dollars on this Whenever I see Fontanini, I always pick it up, <laughs> research it, and most of it is worth money. All right, well, that is it for today. I'm going to go home and list some of these items, and I'll see you next time. Bye!